Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. Today's play is Macbeth. At the start of the play, a Scottish guy called Macbeth has been fighting in a war, and his title is Thane of Glamis. A thane is some kind of rank in that military system. Macbeth and another guy called Banquo were successful in leading the troops in this battle, and on the way home they're walking along and they meet three witches. And the witches call Macbeth three things. They call him Thane of Glamis, Thane of Cawdor, and the third witch says that he will be king hereafter. And they say that Banquo will be the father to kings. After this happens, Macbeth actually gets promoted by the king to Thane of Cawdor. And so he starts thinking, hmm, maybe the witches were right. Maybe I'm going to become king. Then he tells his wife, Lady Macbeth, about this and she decides they should kill the king. So when the king comes and stays at their castle, Macbeth kills him, and then he blames two servants and kills them too. The king has two sons, and they escape because they're scared and suspicious of Macbeth. And then Macbeth becomes king. But Macbeth is worried about what the witches said about Banquo being a father to kings, so he decides to kill Banquo and his son and Banquo is killed, but his son escapes. And then Lady Macbeth starts feeling really guilty about what they did, and Macbeth gets all paranoid and goes to see the witches again, and they say, beware Macduff. So Macbeth decides to kill Macduff's family. Anyway, eventually the king's sons come back with Macduff to get revenge, and they kill Macbeth. And Lady Macbeth is already dead because she committed suicide. One of the most famous soliloquies in the play is when Macbeth finds out that his wife is dead. A soliloquy is when a character says his thoughts aloud. At the end of this soliloquy, Macbeth says this about life. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. So now you know what the meaning of life is. And finally, a famous line from Lady Macbeth. She feels so guilty about the murders that she goes mad. And one day when she's sleepwalking, she looks at her hands and she thinks she has blood on her hands and she says, Out, Dan Spot, out, I say. Kia ora and stick news today. An American TV network has stopped broadcasting a show after a host made insulting comments about basketball players. Don Imus is a 67-year-old talk show host. He often calls people nasty names, such as fat, pill-popping loser, gutless, lying weasel, fat pig, cantankerous old fool, and bowtie-wearing pussy. On the 4th of April, he called the members of a women's basketball team nappy-headed hoes. A ho is derogatory slang for a prostitute. In some countries, a nappy is what a baby wears. But in the United States, nappy is an adjective meaning frizzy and is used to describe the hair of people of African descent. The term nappy head can be used as an insult. Many people were unhappy about Don Imus's comment, including many sponsors who decided to pull their ads from the show, and MSNBC, who has stopped airing the program. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 12th of April. Kia ora. There's still quite a few of these big piles of snow lying around town. What do you think about what that guy said? Yeah. But radio announcers say stupid things all the time. Do you think he's racist? And some people do. The nappy head comment. Well, I've never heard that word before, so it doesn't sound bad to me. But if it's offensive in America, then yeah, he shouldn't say it. True. Doesn't mean they should get away with it, though. I don't know. He might have been trying to be funny, but I don't think racist comments are funny. 
Yeah, they do. Even YouTube editors, they feature videos with racist humour, which I don't understand. I don't find it funny. But each to their own, I guess. Who said Macbeth would become king? A witch. Who decided to kill the king? Lady Macbeth. Who killed the king? Macbeth. Who said that life was a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing? Macbeth. Who said, out damned spot, out I say? Lady Macbeth. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow.